Okay, today you're gonna learn the quick and easy way to make the K-Slice transition. Super awesome mega intro, 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 intro. Now first of all, what you wanna do is slow down these knife animations, cause they're so fast, man. I'm not gonna go over that in this video, just because that's a whole thing, and there's another video you can watch if you wanna learn more. Second of all, you wanna place your uh, other clip below, so we have our knife clip, and then the second clip in video track one, and you also wanna butt it up uh, right when this knife animation starts. We got this all lined up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two cuts. The first one at uh, the beginning of this clip and the second one at the end of this clip. Now you're gonna highlight these two, right click, new fusion composition, and then um, go on into fusion. Now the way that DaVinci Resolve sets this up, if I select media in two and hit one on my keyboard, it brings it into the first viewer window. This is our uh, our, our first video. So I'm just gonna relabel it, relabel it. Video, uh, never mind. Knife. <laughs> and that means if I bring media in one into this, that's our second video. So that's that's what I'm gonna relabel video. And if you're completely unfamiliar with nodes, well, uh, the gold arrow, that's your background, green arrow, foreground, uh, blue mask, and then we also have this media out, and that's like the to what the final result's gonna look like. Now we have this merge node, and that ties it into the main pipeline. So it's kind of like layers, right? We have video track one, video track two. Anyways, what I'm gonna do is copy the knife node, the, the second video, and then I'm gonna take the output of it and connect it to this output. So another merge node appears. And let's make our lives a little bit easier. I'm gonna bring the original knife video into video, or to window one and the copy uh, into window two. So with uh, the first one, the first knife video, I'm gonna take a polygon node and connect that to the blue arrow because that's the mask. And guess what? It disappears. Why? Because we don't have a mask and it doesn't know what to put here. So let's just uh, turn that guy off. We can hit this button right here. And what I'm gonna do is zoom out and just figure out, oh, okay, frame three. We can see that knife animation. So I'm gonna just follow that path by making two points here. We'll fix the arc later, but I'm just gonna close the polygon like that. And now with this, I can drag it up and create that arc. Now, when I turn the polygon node back on, hey, hey, we uh, we got this thing right now. Now what I'm gonna do is copy our polygon node, paste it above the knife copy, connect it here. Now we got the same thing. That's not what we want. We want uh, the inverse of that. And guess what? There is an invert button. So you click that, ba-bam. If I select merge two and bring that into the second viewer window, Hey, we have a perfect video again, but that's not what we want. We gotta, we gotta separate these things. And there's a million different ways that we could do it. But what I'm gonna do is after this knife, I'm gonna add a transform and I'm gonna do the same thing for the knife copy. So our node tree looks like this right now. The transforms, they, uh, they move stuff. So that's how we're gonna separate this video. But before we do that, um, I got a little ahead of myself. We probably should have keyframed these masks what you can do is just select one of them it doesn't really matter which one and then uh at the beginning you're gonna add a border width keyframe go out a couple of frames doesn't matter where and you're just gonna adjust it one way or the other and what this does is it obviously separates the, the video so it looks like we have now cut across okay we got that out of the way the next thing is the transforms moving these videos apart from each other so where this uh border width gets adjusted we're gonna add a keyframe in our center for both transforms. Then we're gonna move to the end of the video and just bring them out of frame, like that. By the way, if you're wondering why this one didn't do anything, it's because I have a knife in the first window. If I bring the transform into that window, there you go. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just watch this back real quick. Okay, it looks kind of good, but it's not great because it, it's like very boom, boom. To fix that, we have to mess with our graphs. So open up spline and then we see everything with that has keyframes. This is up to you, but you know, you can hit these three dots, show only selected tool, and then you can choose which node you, you want to mess with the keyframe <laughs> for. Now I would suggest that you work with both transforms at once. If you highlight both of them, guess what? You get both transforms. You're gonna check those, hit zoom to fit, and then you're gonna highlight this last one, this last keyframe, and you're gonna hit F on your keyboard. The reason why is because we want this keyframe to just kind of hold for a little bit longer and then it speeds up. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt and drag to the right. And you can see I'm starting to mess with that graph. Probably right there. I'm going to do the same thing for the other graph so that these match up. Perfect. And now I'm going to bring this top keyframe uh, down. Same thing. I'm going to hold Alt drag to the right once again holding alt drag to the right there we go we should have something that looks a little smoother yeah okay now you could keyframe the border with two um i think i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna select it uh zoom to fit and this time what i'm gonna do is hit f or s it doesn't matter because we have just two keyframes but f for flat s for smooth look at that this is starting to look really good the last thing we need to do is add some glow here now there's a million different glow nodes that you could use. However, I made a macro that you can download for free. Uh, we're gonna hit shift space and it's, it's called uh, border glow. That's it. And guess what it does? It adds glow to the border of stuff. If you wanna download this effect, it's in my discord. It's free. The link is in the description. So now when we play this back, oh baby, that's looking good. Now this is completely optional, but if we go back frame by frame, we start making the cut before the actual cut happens. You know what I mean? So we could fix this just by copying um, the knife node again. Paste it down here. Let's put a little space between everything. Connect uh, connect the output to the border glow so we get another merge. Eey, let's bring that over here. And now uh, everything disappears because we have just the knife node. So we're going to use that to our advantage by just grabbing, I don't know, like, any, like, a, like a rectangle node. You know, something simple. Um, whoop, let's bring the merge into this window. Um, with the rectangle node, you can see we got um, the cut here and the cut here, but not the cut in here. I'm just going to bring this like that and like that. And I'm just going to keyframe the um, edge to match the knife blade. So in your center, you're going to add a keyframe. And then you're just going to move the rectangle to fit your video. And DaVinci Resolve will add all the rest of the keyframe for you. The last thing you have to do is add a little bit of a soft edge. Because there's this hard cutoff and it doesn't look good. To see what everything looks like, we're going to go to Media Out 1. Hit 2 on our keyboard. And then um, when we play this back, we have our video below. Anyways, that's how you make the K-Slice transition. You got any questions? Leave a comment or join the Discord. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Goodbye.